Second part to the invasion no one knew about. The boy's realization. The boy put a woman's bra over his head, just like in the film Weird Science, to try and get rid of this formless grey. Your traces are so far, sparkling the emissions with hints and flicks from a revolving and twisting mosaic mirrored ball. A disco dynasty, the penetrating watch of 1984. And it became what you are. Indoctrinated radio calling, the gods in the spoiling, this earth, this earth, my mother of endurance. Like an aneroid barometer, measured in air sense to feel its presence, to a laptop it is condensed. Now a sc screen projects a face, red eyes appear, it is all that is seen by its radiographer, power of an X-ray vision beam. Its electronic cold laugh, uncovering the contradiction of its theme. The computer sneezed its microchips, sniffed its flicker on the screen. Its infection broke into my account. Link me to another page. It streams down, rolling out of its nose. Bloodshot bulge to pop up its vision. It keeps dragging and stuttering. The cursor white arrow that cannot recognize white balance. Tap really hard. Lock the computer. Shall I enter as a bug bounty? Battling, like Tron, battling the program's faulty power. Meanwhile, the two aliens discuss their problems. Poronita glares intently at the boy and said, Silly boy, his lament is causing friction. He knows too much. Orgut shows off his new form as a faceless alien, and so they made the film Alien Covenant. Orgut transmitted and spoke telepathically. Indeed, Podnita, he certainly is a nuisance. Podnita, in her deadly female sh species, shrilled, We have made him crazy. To make him out delusional, Orgut replied, No one would believe him anyway. So they fed the boy to their alien leader, where they are choking on his understanding, as they confide with their sneakiness and confess to its cloak and dagger, as they softly cloak, wrap cloak, wrap cloak, wrap cloak. Could he yet see the dark clouds that he knows so well? They have laser guns on the spectrum of light. It uses infrared for a cathoid ray that obliviously reconstructs pathological thinking. The boy's mind tries to edge towards beauty that he sees in nature, but his circumstances repulse her, like the smell of the skunk. <coughs> Pardon me for burping. His ignorance in life spoils. Bright lights flashing like little distant memories as the boy stares into the TV screen. A frame, a boxed-in world, folded up and crammed into his living room. The world presses up against him just by this square portal. The weight of the world floods in through the TV screen, drowning the boy in sorrow. This water was bitter, black and murky. Its square mouth seals up to a colourful filter. Do you think there is sympathy in the TV's eyes? What is this that cannot return to the ground? 
electrical roots wired, shooting knowledge through fibres of global connection. This close inspection for the mind to be hacked as if a body naked. To wire across the lands, to circuit board the earth with pylon towers. Marching an organised walk and then coming to a halt. Standing at ease like hundreds of small Eiffel Towers. The structure of praise in Paris. The wire's exposed sight are deadly and light. In the rain-filled, sparkled sky, it has rained all day. In shades of teal, where the cables sizzle and spit. The boy looked up through the beautiful dark greens of the canopy of the tree to see a pylon popping up and emerging as if to peer over the tree, looking down at him in a grey, cold stare. A magnet force pulling him to its touch, where connection is one way. He has no other choice but to obey. Paroled from his pain, but dazed and controlled, controlled, a pixelated brain, sharp in square ideas of an obvious cubist representation, but in a corner, grey dust-coated, cobwebbed moral ideologies where the wind seldom blows upon them. Gather us all, each being a pixel, a fragment of a whole, but firmware could not rebuild us, now scattered in bits in the air, waiting to be resembled for that picture a picture that we must wear. As it produces a replica, its grid is muddy. If it does not recognize white light, then how can it travel upon it? The antagonist, perhaps at the other end of the plug, a collectivist who is an activist, states willingly in his crazy stare as he clicks on his mouse and taps on the keyboard. He clicked to send this message. The aliens are in the detail. The boy looked at its circuit board and noticed the maker, company and model number, which read, made by the aliens. It even had its own logo of an alien's face giving a wink. Humanity was at the brink and forgot who they were, with many a blink. This is where angels fear to tread. And with such a profound statement, we are working together for a better future. So no one actually knew about this invasion. They just carried on as what they thought was normal, saying, we are working for a better future.
Well, thanks for listening. The song suits the atmosphere and the mood of the poem. Thanks.